What is going on mobile gamers today? I'm going to show you guys how to format any of your micro SD cards that are above 32 gigabytes as you see on the table with a very easy to use tool and proof that it does actually work. So let's jump over to our computer and begin this process as no, you cannot do this on your Android or your iPhone unless your SD card is below 32 gigabytes. <laughs> So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to grab an SD card of choice. I'm going to be using my 128 gigabyte micro SD card just because it's above 32 gigabytes. I'm going to plug it into my computer. So over on the computer, you'll notice that I have some files on here. Now, if you right click on this SD card and click on format and click this drop down, it only gives you two options. So NTFS and XFAT, okay? So it doesn't allow you to actually format this to FAT32, which is probably something that you've already noticed, and that's probably why you're here. Now, there is a tool that we're gonna be using here, and that tool is called Rufus. Okay, now there's a certain way that you have to use Rufus to actually make this work, and I'm gonna show you that right now, obviously. So let's go to Google Chrome and let's type in Rufus. Now you can use whatever web browser you want, but just go to rufus.ie. Link in the description below. If you don't know where the link in the description is in 2025, maybe YouTube a video on how to use YouTube because there's a lot of people that don't know that stuff is in the more section now of the description. I'm not even gonna go there, okay? Let's click on the website and scroll all the way down until you see Rufus for one point 4.7 or something i guess this is the latest version so whatever the latest version is there's a beta version i guess too then just click on the download link for that and then make sure you click on the exit tab when the ad pops up now click on rufus and now another window is going to pop up that says are you sure you want to install this click on yes now another dialog window will pop up here and we can close out of google chrome and then you're going to see your devices now make sure that you select the right device okay now you can go into your file explorer and just check to see what your drive letter is. Obviously you're gonna double check all that so you don't accidentally format your C drive. Now it technically does pick your external drives properly, but it will you know, pick up any drives that are connected. Now the next thing you're going to do is click on boot selection from the drop down menu and make sure you select non bootable. Okay, now make sure you select non-bootable, very important. Now for your volume label, you can just give it a name, whatever you want. So big, card, fat, okay? Doesn't matter what you name it, it's just whatever you wanna name it. The other thing you're going to do is make sure that you check off, create extended label. Make sure that that's not checked. Don't check it off, just make sure it's not checked. The other thing, make sure you select large fat 32. Make sure you select 32 kilobytes. Don't select anything else other than 32 kilobytes. I've never found it beneficial for a majority of stuff that you use this for to go above 32 kilobytes of uh, basically cluster size, especially when it comes to like a 3DS and your R4 card. And then click on start. That's it. That's how you format your SD card to FAT32. But if you don't believe me, you can continue watching from here and see that it actually works by watching the timestamp section of me showing it working in an R4 card. Because I'm just gonna plug it into my R4 card with all the R4 card data on it, okay? So I have gone forth and downloaded the R4 files that I'm gonna be using for this basically proof, evidence, showing that this works. Uh, this is from my video that I recently shared about the R4 card for the real-time save R4 card. And I'm going to grab all these files right here and copy them on the root directory of this big card fat that we formatted during this video, just to show you that it all works with a 128 gigabyte micro SD card. Now, if you know anything about the R4 cards, the R4 cards, you do need to have a FAT32 uh sd card to actually work i'm not going to show you booting into games i'm just going to boot into the r4 card otherwise it's not going to work if you don't format it properly now that i've copied those files over i can grab that out of my computer and i can plug this into my r4 card okay 128 gigabyte micro sd card plug it into there make sure it's seated in there properly because sometimes that happens and we can check it out down below And here we go, touch Bomberland, and loading, 
and boom 128 gigabyte micro sd card and it's working so that's about it guys hope you enjoyed that yeah very very simple very easy to format your micro sd card in 2025 this is a basically last video where i'm going to show you how to do this because i did a video in the past and i showed you that as well but enough with the yapping make sure you clip on that youtube subscribe button if you like this sort of content and you want to learn more Bye-bye.